All right, I've got the kitchen all sorted except for that wonky dish towel. So there's only one thing left to do, which is to light this candle in the corner. Also, sadly, I just ran out of Tangelo Palm Frond, so I have to get more of it. I'm out. This is the, I can't, I, I can't talk about that anymore. Okay, I'm trying to do this left-handed, okay. This candle is from Grove as well. Grove is like my new best friend. This is the blood orange one. These candles that they have are um, a lighter scent, but I really like that in the kitchen because I don't want my kitchen to smell strongly of something when I'm cooking, you know? So that's gonna, that flame will settle down. Just give it a second. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. Kitchen's done, cleaned, candles lit. I gotta eat some breakfast, but it looks good. I need to move on to this room though, which isn't that big of a deal except for the fireplace, which I can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but it's so dirty because we've been having fires a bunch and fires are really messy. So, oh, I missed that mug. That Haunted Mansion mug is haunting me. Hey y'all, I just ate a bowl of cereal and I'm just, um, getting some emails answered this morning. And in my email inbox, I have all these shipment notifications because this past weekend I did a huge bulk of our um, Christmas shopping for our families and friends and things like that. So it was, I love Christmas shopping and I love, I love online shopping. I love that it's so easy to price compare between different places. I love that I can use coupon codes. I love that I don't have to deal with crowds. I love that I can sit on my PJs in front of the fire. Like I am number one online shopper. I love it. But it's really fun to see like, just looking at my inbox right now, I can see like three or four different, like your order has shipped. And so I'm so excited this week um, to, to receive those packages so I can start, actually this past weekend, so I, I was gonna say, so I can start Wrapping everything up this past weekend. I got my first few Christmas gifts in the mail um, And I started wrapping those up. I'm such a big my goal every year is to finish be finished with shopping for Christmas gifts by Thanksgiving that's my goal every year and I don't always hit it but I try to as much as possible because December um, is, is, it's a lot for everybody. It's certainly a lot for us. It's both, it's our, both of our birthday month as well. And so then we're also thinking about birthday gifts and, and neither of us do a whole lot for our birthdays, but we usually go out to a nice dinner or something like that. It's like a whole other thing to think about. So getting it done early. The point of my rambles is to say that if you do not use Ebates and you shop online, I am not being paid to say this. This is not sponsored. You need to get on Ebates. I am like emphatically encouraging you to get on Ebates. I have made back literally hundreds of dollars using Ebates. It is it seems like a scam. If you've watched my vlogs for a long time, when I first started using it, I told you, I thought it was a scam. I did not think it was legit because it's it feels really too good to be true and I don't really understand how it works, but it is amazing. Basically, you sign up with Ebates and then you add a browser extension. You don't have to, but I do because it's a lot easier that way. You install a browser extension onto your browser and then whenever you go to a website that is an Ebates whatever, like it works with Ebates, a button pops up and you click activate cash back. Sometimes like Sephora, it's six or 8% cash back. Etsy even has cash back. Amazon, um, I don't know if Amazon has cash back. Target does, I think. Um, Walmart.com does, like Gap.com does, Old Navy does. I shop there a lot, so both of those places are great. I mean, Grove Collaborative, you can get cash back. You need to be using Ebates. You need to be using Ebates if you shop online. I just don't know how else to say it, especially this time of year because if you're an online shopper like me and you're getting your Christmas shopping done or your holiday shopping done online, please use Ebates and save yourself some money. It's so great. So there's a link below. You don't have to use my referral link, but if you use my referral link, you get 10 free dollars put in your account to kick you off. And then as you continue, it will pile up more money. And then what they do is they either send money to your PayPal account or they literally send you a physical check in the mail um, in like once a quarter. So you accumulate for a quarter. So probably early next year, um, you would get a check in the mail with all of your rewards and earnings. It could not be easier. I've made so much money back on it. It's so nice. 
I just encourage you, like I said, emphatically, if you online shop, you need to be using Ebates. It is, it's such a game changer. And you can use it in addition to using coupon codes and things like that. It doesn't replace that. You can use all your normal coupon codes and then just add it. I'm just like annoyed that I haven't known about this for the past 10 years that I've been online shopping because I can't imagine how much money I could have made back in that time. But I'm on board now and I want you to get on board too. So like I said, I'll leave a link below. If you don't want to use my referral link, you don't have to. You can just go directly to the site. But if you do, you get 10 bucks. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go pick up my groceries. I'm going to delete all these or archive all these. Um, your order has shipped emails and excitedly await their arrival. Even if it's Even if I'm getting something in the mail, it's not for me. It's exciting. The mail is just fun. First of all, we put our Santa sheets on the bed. They're so cute. These are my pajamas. Um, and we are just about getting dinner finished right now. And for dinner tonight, we are having Swedish meatballs in the crock pot. And the whole house smells like Ikea. <laughs> so we're going to have these with some green beans. And both of us are really hungry and we're super excited to eat. So this should be yummy. I will let you know if it's good. Riley said it's good, he tasted the sauce. And if it is, I will leave the recipe below. All right, here's dinner for tonight. The Swedish meatballs over a bed of egg noodles, some green beans, some cranberry sauce, and a roll. It has been a very stressful day actually in my working world and I am so ready to sit down and just enjoy a nice meal. Good morning, it's Tuesday now and those meatballs last night were amazing. I just want to say that before I forget. So I will leave a link to that recipe below. That would be a great recipe for a party or a crowd because you can make a whole lot. It's super easy and just delicious. It's that time again. It's time for me to pull off my cover. This is my late October cover. I got to pull off the back one too and switch it out for my November cover. How pretty is this? It's like metallic gold and a deep plum purple. I think that's so pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. If you're new around here, this is an Erin Condren notebook. This is how I plan my to-do list every single day. I have videos about it and one of the things that I love is that there are interchangeable covers. As always, there is a $10 gift certificate link below if you want it. I'm going to put this on here and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm done. How pretty is that? I absolutely love it. It's a little bit blown out. The, the purple is a deeper purple than it's showing up, but I think that's so pretty with the metallic leaves and perfect for November. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday. Gosh, it's already 1 p.m. It's not the morning anymore. Um, it has been, this has been a week. This has been a week. I feel like I haven't picked up the camera a lot because there have been some stressful moments. Um, I was I had a Skype meeting today and while I was Skyping I got a notification from our doorbell um, that someone was outside but I thought it was the male lady but then when I came out from my Skype meeting I walked into the kitchen and my most wonderful husband He's just so kind. I love him so much. Look what he did. Let me flip this note over because that, people don't need to read all that. Look, he left me like a love letter basically, really sweet on that. And then he also, he knows I love sour gummy candies. So we got two different kinds and some beautiful flowers. He's just the best. I love being married to him. It's so thoughtful and kind. He snuck in like a little church mouse. I didn't even hear him. <sighs> okay, now I have to get back to work. But that was such a nice surprise. Are these not just stunning? What a perfect bouquet for this time of year because it has like the reds of 
October. I mean the oranges of like October and fall and then the reds, these deep, deep reds of November and like Christmas time. Oh, it's just stunning. <sighs> I love him. What a kind thing to do. I was just thinking this morning that I wish that I had some flowers because we haven't had any fresh flowers in a while. And it's like he read my mind. Hey guys, it's about five o'clock now on Wednesday and I just put dinner in the oven. We're having baked potatoes and salad for dinner. Just a really easy dinner. We're not even doing a meat. Um, and I decided that I wanted to talk to you about something, do a little cabinet talk. And then I decided that I think that I should do in every weekly vlog, a cabinet talk. Like last weekly vlog, I talked about caffeine and how I am living the decaf life these days and how much I'm enjoying that because I feel so much better. So you can go watch that if you want to hear more about cutting caffeine out. Um, and today I want to talk about living across the country from my family and the holidays. So I just need you to like level with me for a second here. And I just want to express that at times it is deeply frustrating to live across the country from my family, namely around the holidays. Here's why. The way that we do the holidays actually works really well for us. And um, so what we do is every other year we switch Christmas and Thanksgiving between my family and Riley's family. So last year we stayed here in Texas for Thanksgiving and we traveled to Maryland where I grew up, where my whole family lives for Christmas. So this year we're doing the opposite. We will go to Maryland for Thanksgiving this year and we will stay here for Christmas. I really like that because I really like that we get to, like I don't like the idea of just always going to my family for Christmas and never getting to wake up in my own house on Christmas and never getting to do Christmas here um, and always having to travel for Christmas. And I also like that we get to do both holiday. I just really, I really, that works for us. So that's not the issue and that never has been the issue. The issue is just like everything else. <laughs> The, the issue is, and I mean with this, this with the most love and respect, is that everyone in my life up in Maryland, none of them have ever or probably will ever, literally ever, travel for the holidays. All of my friends up there, my family up there, everybody up there has all been born and raised within a couple of miles of where they live now, and they all just, like... Everybody's right there. It's like a little bubble. So for me going home, I love it because I get to see everybody, but it's really challenging because I just, like they just don't get it. Like, they just don't get it. And I mean that, like I said, with the most love and respect and I have and would say this to everyone's face. This is not me like talking behind their back publicly on the internet. It's like, unless you, are someone who has also traveled for Thanksgiving or Christmas or both, it's really hard to understand the implications of that. Number one, if you go somewhere, if I go up to visit my family in April, let's say, or in May, there's, there's no emotional attachment to that trip. Um, I'm just going to see them, spend time with them, see my friends, family, whatever, and everyone is like low emotions, it's just like, we can just go see each other. And so that's what I do. Like I just went a couple of months ago, I went and spent a full week up there, up in Baltimore for like no reason other than to just see my grandparents mostly and to see my family and friends. So like, but when you go around the holidays, it is a deeply emotionally charged time. Everybody wants to see you, everybody feels like um, you need to stay for longer, that you're not doing all the Christmas traditions, all the, the Thanksgiving traditions, that like, there's just a lot of pressure around the holidays when we go and visit. We also, um, feel like we need to try to stay for as long as we possibly can because there's just, you don't understand, like, no one really has moved away but us, but me, Riley, this is where Riley grew up. I'm the only one who has moved away. And so when I go up there, everyone else goes home to their own beds in their own homes and their own space, but not me. And I'm not trying to paint a sob story, listen, I'm not. But my point is, 
it's just a very unique experience and it can be really tiresome and being out of my own home for a week in someone else's home even though it is my childhood home and I love my parents and I love spending time with them it doesn't matter like I want to be in my own bed <laughs> especially being an introvert the way that I am and needing to withdraw and wanting to be in my own space with my own things cleaned the way I like organized the way you know what I'm saying like it's just hard it's hard to be out of that for a week at a time or two weeks at a time and out of the year several weeks at a time so my point is traveling for the holidays can be tiresome always worth it because I don't want to be here for every single holiday because I don't want to miss out like I want to go see my family for some holidays too I see Riley's family all the time I see all of his family members every single week and I see my family like once a quarter so I want to go and be at home and see my family members for sure there's no doubt about that um, but it's it's just a challenge it's just a challenge I feel like I can never, I guess this is what it boils down to, I feel like I can never give enough of myself, I can never spend enough time with people, and I get these low-key guilt trips from everyone about not seeing them enough, not spending enough time with them, I wish you could stay longer, and it just gets a little bit old because I just am like, you don't understand. Like, I'm doing everything I can to see everyone, I'm doing everything I can to, like, be at all the things and do all the things, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, I can only do so much and none of y'all understand because you've never traveled for a major holiday ever once not once in your life have any of these people traveled for a holiday so they just have no concept of like the the extra stress that it brings also just holiday travel let's talk about holiday travel in the most literal sense like it's a nightmare the airports are packed the roads are packed the rental car places are packed people are on edge people it's it's not like a low like low stress low key time so i don't really know the point of this other than just to i would just love to chat with some of y'all those of you who have family across the country who travel for thanksgiving and or travel for christmas who understand the complexity of it um i'm not looking for a whole bunch of advice you can leave it if you want, but I'm, I'm not, I've been doing this for over a decade now, uh, for a decade now, I should say. Next year in, in 2019 will be a full decade since I moved out and have been coming home for holidays. And so I'm very used to it. I found things that work. I know that I need my own alone time. I retire to my bedroom when I need to. I take walks when I need to. Like, I know how to cope. I know how to do it. So that's not the issue. Um, but I would love to hear from some of you and just hear your thoughts. <laughs> I just need to hear a couple people saying I understand <laughs> because kind of no one in my life understands. Like no one in Riley's family travels for the holidays and no one in my family travels for the holidays. We are the ones that travel for the holidays. And I actually kind of like it. I kind of like it. I don't, I don't really envy the people I know who have both families in one place who have to bounce between the two on one day. Like I don't really want to be doing that. Um, but it's, it's, it's whole, it's a whole thing. Traveling for the holidays is a whole thing. It's also absolutely our busiest time of year for me and for Riley, both of us, it's our busiest time of year work-wise. So leaving for a week is just stressful. It's just stressful to be away from home for a week. It's just stressful. So there's a lot of layers and complexity, complexities to it, but I just need to hear from some of you who can say, yes, girl, I understand what you mean about holiday travel, that you wouldn't want to change it, that you wouldn't want to give it up, that you would, you know, you want to go see your family or whoever. However, there are things about it that you only understand if you do it. I just need to hear that. Please, someone tell me that. <laughs> That's our cabinet talk for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to show you guys these adorable pullovers that I ordered from Etsy that just arrived. They are from this company. It's called A Row and & Co. And the woman who runs it is named Alicia. And she is so wonderful. She wrote a little handwritten note, gave me a coupon for my next order, and included this adorable little pouch for free with my order, which I thought was so sweet. So the first one that I ordered is this, I think it, this is called Ash Gray, it says Light Gray, and you get to choose 
the type of monogram or like the type of design you want here, the fabric, the color to go around the fabric, and the ribbon color, as well as the, the color of your, your pullover. So this is like a long sleeve sweatshirt pullover. So this is my monogram and I chose the scalloped because I thought the scallop was super cute. You can also just choose like the normal. And I chose this kind of navy with um, hot pink and some yellow fabric to go in the back and then this kind of, this isn't really showing that well on camera. It's kind of like a light purpley pink. It looks just kind of pink. Um, and then the purple ribbon. So I thought that was super, super cute. Let me lay it out a little bit better so you can kind of get an idea. Isn't that cute? I thought that would be great for the fall and winter. Now this one, this is actually not what I ordered. My order was, um, there was a mistake, but one of the reasons, one of the things that I think like strongly about Etsy shops is that an Etsy shop, a great Etsy shop and a great Etsy shop owner are not the ones that never make mistakes. They're the ones who are willing to take responsibility and make changes if necessary. And Alicia was phenomenal. So I sent her a picture of this and I had ordered this with a light purple fabric, neon, like bright orange. It's not, this is not really my thing. I think this looks really cute. It's just, it's not what I ordered and it's not what I wanted. So I did send her a note and just say, hey, I think I got the wrong fabric. Is there anything we can do? And immediately she responded like within minutes and she told me that she would send me out a new one and that if I wanted, since I already have this white one, I could choose a different color so I have one that's coming that's like a darker gray. So I'm gonna have three of these, which I'm so excited about. But this is gonna be a darker gray and I'm getting my purple fabric. And then we did, we switched the thread color too because she said that this other thread color would look better with it. And I, I don't know if she said that or if I just decided to change it. I don't really remember, but we changed the thread color and we're doing, um, I think a purple ribbon. So it'll be really pretty. So I'll show you that when that comes in. It should come in later this week. I think she shipped it out today, which was fast because I only sent her that message yesterday. But those are my two little pullovers. This one, and then the one that I'm coming that's the, the um, replacement for this one. Those two will go in my Disney bin. Again, I like this one, but it's, it is not what I ordered. So, um, are going in my little Disney basket for when we go to Disney World. And then this one, I'm gonna wash and start wearing because I think it's super cute. So I'm gonna link this Etsy shop below. I always love to support other Etsy shops, especially now that I know that the customer service with this one is phenomenal. Also, I ordered this and I think it was shipped out within two or three days and it was a two or three week listed ship time, which is makes sense to me because it's custom. She made it and shipped it out right away. So I got this very quickly, both of these. And then she fixed her mistake and is shipping that out without, within 24 hours. So super impressed. And I think they're really cute if this is your kind of thing. I know this is very preppy, but I, I was born and bred in Maryland, so I'm very preppy. Um, I like preppy things like this. So I think these are cute and they will be perfect with jeans and leggings in the winter. Just an easy, cute little pullover. Something a little more fun than just big sweatshirts all the time. I thought they were cute. So just wanted to share in case you're interested. And look at the mini. I love it. Hey guys, it's 2.40 now on Thursday. I am fading today. I am just so tired. I got up and I've gotten some things done. I'm outside of Riley's studio right now. I just sorted about 50 or so orders. So I got quite a lot done. And I'm wearing my new A Row & Co pullover, which I love. It's super comfy and you can order. I would imagine that most people would want to order their normal women's size. They feel unisex, so they're a little bit of a larger fit, but that's what I like in sweatshirts. So I'll leave a link to that shop below. I'm really, I've been really happy with it. It's super cozy and warm. I'm listening to the Peaceful Christmas Piano Station on Spotify, which if you've never watched, not watched, if you've never listened to that station, you should totally give it a shot. It is, it makes me feel so, maybe that's part of the problem. <laughs> Although it's like a dark gray day, it's not sunny at all, and I'm just tired today. I just woke up not feeling refreshed when I woke up. So anyway, I'm, I'm going home to do that. And then tonight we have Bible study, and that's, that's what my day looks like. I just like, my body is, well my brain is like, you should go get coffee. And then the other part of my brain's like, you're not gonna, that's not a good idea. So I'm going with the part of the brain that says that's not a good idea because as you know, I'm on this decaf journey. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. This candle smells so good. It is from Bath and Body Works. We recently picked up a few 
Christmas holiday candles and this is one of them that I wasn't sure about but I decided to get it because it sounded like I don't know it sounded like something kind of different than the normal holiday scents it smells exactly like a cup of hot cocoa it smells amazing it makes me crave chocolate the whole time I am burning it but highly recommend it if you like the smell of hot cocoa that distinctive hot cocoa smell this candle has it Good morning, it's Friday. I am stuck waiting for the train. Can you see it down there? Slowly moving. And um, I am having a great morning. It feels so much like fall today. You can't, there's not very many trees right here because we're on like a main road, but you can see that all the trees are just starting to change. It's really crisp and cool outside. It's really, really gorgeous. Here's a cute little boutique. This was a hot mess building and they restored it and then called it Redeemed Boutique. It's really cute. So that's what I'm up to today. I'm heading on my way to Riley's studio. This is one of those super slow trains that takes like sometimes literally 20 minutes. So it's worth just hanging out. Put your car in park. <laughs> a lot of my friends have like a train book that they keep in their um, like in their console or in their door or whatever and they just read um, because this is a regular occurrence and this train is going slow, really slow. So anyway, that's what I'm up to today. I'm feeling a lot more well rested than I was yesterday. Yesterday I just dragged all day, but today I feel a lot better. This Christmas Peaceful Piano Playlist is like the song of my heart. It is so wonderful, it is so relaxing. I just absolutely love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I highly recommend it. It's a nice way to not get tired of Christmas music if you would, like I would. If I listened to lyric Christmas music for the next month and a half, I would like lose my mind a little bit. But this is just like kind of jazzy and it sounds like what they play in like a department store in the mall or something like that. It's just really refreshing and relaxing music. I really like listening to it. I have my seat warmer on. I have my new, oh, we gotta go. <laughs> we, I have my new um, jacket from Target. Um, the train is moving, so I am going. Okay, I have 22 minutes to get to the post office and get, why is my camera so dark? And get these one, two, three, four, five bags worth of orders out today. And then I also actually have a couple more that I wanna stop by the studio and get out if I can. Ugh, Friday afternoons are so such a hustle. So I'm gonna try to run out and do this, but this is what I've been doing all day. <laughs> this is why I haven't been filming because this is all I've done. Good morning, it's Saturday now and we are getting our family Christmas photos done today. So Riley and I have scheduled a session with our favorite local photographer and I clearly haven't gotten ready yet. I'm gonna hop in the shower here in a few minutes and start getting ready. Our session's in about two hours and I wanna give myself plenty of time, um, not only to get ready, but to decide on what I'm gonna wear. So Riley's pretty easy. He has a bunch of different button downs in different colorways and different patterns and a lot of different flannels. So I think that whatever I choose, He's already said, he's like, I don't care, I'll wear whatever. So whatever I choose, I'm gonna choose something to kind of coordinate. This session is on a ruby red velvet tufted, like old fashioned couch. Um, and then the background there are, it's really beautiful actually. The background there are all these like ladders and um, she's like strung lights around the ladders. It's just really a neat, the set is really neat um, for this session. And it's kind of like in an, a brick industrial building. So I, and it's for Christmas cards. The purpose of this session is for, um, to get a photo to use for our Christmas card. We also just, it's nice to have updated photos of us as a couple. So here's what I'm thinking, but I also have a few other ideas as far as outfits. So I just thought I'd show you because I would have, I like watching this kind of stuff. So as usual, the color is never exact on camera. This is like a emerald hunter green kind of color. It looks it almost looks like it has shimmer in it right now, but it does not, I can assure you. Um, it's just like kind of a deep, deep green. Let's see if I adjust it. I don't know, y'all. Just imagine like a dark hunter green. Um, that's what that looks like. And then I, this is from Gap. This is a scarf that I bought off Amazon. I will link it, it was like real cheap. Um, and it's really soft, it's like a big, huge square blanket scarf. So I was imagining that like a big, cozy kind of Christmassy scarf with this is a dress this green one is a um, kind of like a swing dress and then I was thinking depending I have this this is from J. Crew. 
um, and it's like a navy blue quilted vest. So I was thinking that this could go together, all three of these things. If I wanted to add a vest onto it, I could probably just wear this without the vest and then just wear little booties or some kind of flats or something or little heels maybe even. But then I was also thinking that I have, I was also thinking of, so I was going thinking of this or the other option I was thinking was to go with jeans. So if I go with jeans, then I'll probably wear jeans, some little heeled booties. Um, and then I have like a pr really pretty like cranberry deep red v-neck long sleeve kind of sweater looking thing and then i was thinking pair that with this and this so i guess the difference is either whether i go with the dress as the base layer or jeans and that kind of red top as the base layer i'm more prone i think actually i've been talking about wanting to wear jeans all day but now i think i might want to go with this if the couch that we're going to sit on is red i don't know if i really want to be wearing red I don't know, so I'm gonna take a shower and kinda of think on it. I think I'll probably try both of the outfits on and see which one I prefer, but um, there's my, this is my Christmas card thoughts. I also have that cream colored sweater I showed in a recent vlog. I could wear that with jeans and the vest. I could get rid of the vest. I could get rid of any of this. Ugh, choosing outfits for stuff like this is a little bit nuts. All right, I picked my outfit. I am wearing the scarf. I went with the red and the jeans, let me show you in the mirror so it's a little bit easier to see from far away. See that? I have the navy blue vest on, I have some booties on, my jeans are all hiked up, I need to pull them down. So I think we should be good, and I have this red sweater on, so I think it should be good. Riley is wearing a green, There's, there you go, here we are. He's wearing a green check, so I think we're good and Christmassy. We just finished getting our photos taken. I think it went really well. It was a quick session and we got it done and the photographer, we love the photographer. We've shot with her before and it was just great. So now that we're all dressed up and looking not like our normal selves on Saturday, we're gonna go to dinner at a little local place in town, like pretty much the only nice restaurant in town. Um, so we're gonna go and eat there. Oh, there goes my favorite waitress. My favorite done. waitress is leaving for the Shoot. evening. Darn it. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna go do. I'll show you once we get in there. We're in here, and I forgot to film dinner, but we just got salad and pasta, so. But for dessert, I got buttermilk pie, and Riley got Reese's peanut butter pie. And here's what it looks like in here. It's really cute. We just got home from dinner at Sarah's and look what came in the mail. This is my replacement from A. Rowan Co., which I have already linked below. Um, I was telling you earlier in the week that I had received the wrong fabric on my mini ears. And so when we talked it through, we ended up changing a couple of things because I already had the white one with the navy. And so she was like, let's do something different so that you have two different pullovers. And so I really appreciate her help. She was so kind and just easy to work with. And she actually sent me three other ribbon colors that all go along with the fabric within the bow. She put the purple one on here, um, but then she sent the other ones that I could swap out, which I thought was really, really sweet, and she left me a really sweet note. So, highly recommend this shop um, for obviously the super cute garments, but also just because the owner is wonderful. Riley is getting a fire going over here. Yes. So we're gonna enjoy we're gonna enjoy our evening. It's only 6:30 or 6:50 or something, but it feels like here you go. It feels like it's about 10 p.m. because with this with the time change, there we go. With the time change, it's just getting it gets dark so early, um, and it just makes. Although I've been going to bed early and getting up early today. I got up at 5 a.m. because I went to bed so early last night. So I'm kind of liking it in the end. Anyway, I am going to end this vlog here. I really appreciate you following along with me this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I have lots of content coming. Lots and lots and lots of content coming. I have gift guides coming. I have different DIY gift ideas coming. I have, I don't know, I was mapping out my 
content for the rest of the year yesterday and I have more content than year so I am really there's a lot coming so make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already and if you want to you can hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and that will send you notifications when I post a new video so if you want you could do that as well also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook I'm really active on Instagram but I also post new videos to Facebook as well and on Twitter. So if you want notifications, those are two places that you could follow me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've, you have enjoyed it and I would love to hear how you are doing. Is it starting to feel a little bit more Christmassy and a little bit more holiday-ish where you are or what's the weather like? It's cold here today, like very, very cold. So we have a fire in the works. Anyway, thanks so much for following along with me this week and I'll see you guys next time, bye.